Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons back and welcome all of you to another part of Okami HD. In the last episode we've explored around this whole area. Oh nice, got some. Don't know what I got there. And a lot of questions are open on what to do, where to go, but let's just walk around. Also let's just quickly deal with this demon gate right here. Because I think we saw that at the end of the last episode. So let's see what we get out of here. Okay, it's just some um, fish. Nothing too uh, big there. Just have two bombs there. Beautiful, thank you for running into that for me. That way I don't even need to worry about anything. Whoa. Okay, you are cuddling me right now. I did not give my consent to that. Oh, well, I got the other one as well. And goodbye. And come on. There we go. Thanks for the thanks for the demon thing. Oh, I hate you. Can you please? Do your thing. Where is it? I, I just saw it for a brief oh there it is. Step. Perfect. And now bloom for me, my friend, so that I can put a bomb inside of you. You know, the friendly things that you do in this game. And goodbye. And bloom again. No. Oh, damn it, busted. Yep, no, I goofed it. Damn it. Ah, I could have gotten two demon fangs there. That was good. So. Mm -hmm, gorgeous. Thanks for the praise. 200 already. Let me do something interesting with that. I could get more ink. Let's get more ink. Why not? Beautiful. What was that? Oh. Hi. Tigers. Oh. Let's feed them. Do I have... Do they eat fish? No. I think I need meat for that. Where is their shopkeep? I think someone was down there to buy stuff from. I don't have meat anymore. I need that. For tigers. Also, more pottery that I can destroy. <laughs> so, buddy, hey, come here and send me some meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangerous fish. I think we read all of that. If not, then. Sorry. Do we have anything to sell? A bullhorn. Yes. Everything else sticks with me. I need meats. Give me 10 of those. Always good to have some extra. So let's run and talk to the talk to feed the tigers. There they are. Hey there buddies. Wanna have some meat? It somehow looks threatening, I don't know why. Also, tiger butt. Okay, done with that. If a tigers, I kinda feel good about you look grumpy, buddy. Like Legitimately, you look... I'm gonna leave you to your own device there, so uh, have fun! I fed you, don't eat me. But yeah, um... We've looked around here, we've been down at the evil cutter family. I haven't fed you. Feed you! Another dog apparently that's just around. Needs some feeding. I take it. Some praise, some easy praise for us at that dog butt. Moving on. But yeah. Not a lot of praise, not like the tigers. You could be more thankful for what I do for you. So, have we been up there? What is that? Yeah, I fed you, good. What is up here? To Kusa Village. I don't think we have been to Kusa Village and... We also can go through the secret passage there. Let's check out Kusa Village first. The other one is so secretive, I'm gonna take a look at, look at that later. Also, slice. What do we got? Feedback meat. Oh, I just got feed. Oh, meat. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, not like I didn't have that before, but still, thanks. So everything else here we've dealt with as far as I'm concerned. Dealt with the water there. Have we really not been up here? It's, uh, hmm. Monkeys have been fed here. Have we been up here? 
kind of feels like we've been up here. Let's just take a look before we just turn around. Oh yeah, that was this strange barrier thingy. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what that is. I'm not too happy about it, but let's see what it is. Kusa Village. Oh, I'm losing ink constantly here. Yikes! What's this creepy evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse on here, but I definitely sense evil. Yeah, no no kidding. Anybody? How oh, far the luck? I wanted to do some trading over at the Gale Shrine, but it's been taken over by some monster and it's panic all around. Oh well, I suppose I'll just have to make the best out of it now. Have you been sent here to do some shopping for your master? Sure. Let's see. Ooh. Infinity charge. And gold dust. And a pinwheel. Is the pinwheel good for anything? I don't know. We might buy one? Anything else? Everything else... Okay. Not interesting. Let's buy the infinity charge. And the gold dust. It's, it doesn't say sold out. And one pinball, because why not? Oh, also sold out. So only one pinball here. Interesting. So I need more money. I think I can buy more gold dust here. So... Not tool. I have a lot of gold dust already. Reflector. Oh, it's also a reflector. Does that mean it has the same effect as the other two? Like, it's just a shield when I have it as a sub-weapon? Because if that's the case, I'm just gonna have it as a main weapon. Hopefully you deal more damage than the other thing. Let's talk to the... Bonk. But that doesn't do anything. Hi, little lady. Hello, little doggy. This flower bed used to be really pretty, you know? It was full of flowers, all thriving in the fountain water. But then the wind stopped, and the water dried up, and now... But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. Oh, you're cute. The flowers were so pretty here, but now it looks like it's filled in with dead grass. But I'm watering them every day. I have to go get them blooming again. Yeah, but don't overwater them, please. It might also kill some things. But I mean, everything's dead here already, so... I mean, whatever. Hop. Hello there, ma'ams. You know the priest of the shrine was gobbled up by that monster. I'm sure that that's what stopped the divine wind from blowing. So the priest was... Okay, whatever. Monsters have been attacking the Gale Shrine, you see? The strength of the shrine god is growing weaker and weaker. The divine wind used to make the windmill there turn like a charm. But that's that's not all. That's not all? How much longer is it going to go on? Kusa Village is famous all over for its divine wind. And yet, now it stopped blowing and we're in a terrible mess. Yet wind is our livelihood and the air is foul without it. No, is there really nothing that can be done? I come to think of it. I like how both of you just stop in the middle of your sentence. Really, really nice of you. I get at least more feedbacks. Oops. Wow, I did not know that it made that sound effect when all my markings disappear. Now I'm just a white wolf. Now I'm just what other people see in me. A white wolf. Hey there, buddy. Hmm. I can't get on with this at all. I'm trying to collect my harvest, you see. But only Mr. Bamboo's baskets can hold enough of it. Have you been to his house yet? Pup. He lives here in the village. People come from far and wide to buy his work. He's a real master. But he suddenly stopped making anything. He said he just can't get any hold. Get a hold of any decent bamboo anymore. Hmm. Come to think of it. Come to think of it what? Did you come across the slightly ramshackled house in the Taka Pass? You mean family color? Yes, I've been to them. The old couple there were the last ones to order bamboo ware. Apparently, they suddenly had to have a birdcage made for them. They've always hated animals, so I wonder why they want a pet now. Birdcage. Okay, but Family Cutter is pretty sure what the, who they are talking about. Is 
it Susanna? Hi Susanna, why is the camera shaking like that? I don't know, let's just move on. We gotta go to Susanna in a moment, I want to check out your house. Oh, give me your food. But yeah, family, Kata apparently has some stuff going on. I mean, I knew that there's something off with them. But I couldn't do anything about that. Maybe that triggers something? I don't know. We'll see. Whoops, hop, hop. We'll see in a moment. Just some water. Let's check in with Susano. Oh, there's something back there. Susano, hold on a moment. Dig, 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 dig. Oh. I don't have ink. I can't do anything with you. Uh, no, no, not that. By the gods, I vow to. He won't ever. Hmm, it's Susano. He's one tenacious dude. Wonder what he's doing here. I bet he's having a nightmare about getting beaten up by a monster. He seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. The dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to the village. Hey there, pups. Floundering around in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Hmm, Poochie and Little Buck. Oh, <clears throat> here to disturb my meditation again. Even in my dreams, I am hard at work devising strategies for defeating the Crimson... something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Gale Shrine, but lo and behold, that crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well thought out plan. Hmm. Now, where was I? Plan? Yeah, yeah, right. That's just your excuse to sleep. I mean, is he wrong, Susanna? Can't the fella get some sleep? Oh, uh, it's you again. I'm devising a plan to defeat that crimson something or other. I thought I'd pray for victory, but now that I think of it, drinking some of Kushi's sake back in Kamiki would be more effective. Bah, he's not only a coward, but a lush too. I'm not gonna give you some sake right now, I'm not gonna go all the way back to Kamiki. Should I check this one out first or over here? Yeah, let's go down this path here and see what we can find. Even more to dig up. Um, excuse me. There we go. Yikes! Okay, that worked out beautifully. Dig, 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 dig. Not really, I can do anything with that. I can do anything with that as well. Hey there. Ah. You're the white wolf I saw back in Kamiki village. I'm traveling the land to spread the good the good teachings of Buddha. There seem to be so many places in need of guidance. I can feel it here too. A sinister coldness in the air. You have to be able to be on alert at all times. Like now, behind you. I'm gonna have to fight? I don't have ink. Well, I can fight at least, so that's, that's good. But this won't be a quick fight for sure. Oops, I stopped a little bit short. I need to be careful here. I've never fought... Oh, great, I got hit there. I've never fought just as my wolf form. And this... Okay, you... You just exploded. I can't do anything about that. What the heck is going on with you? I mean, whatever. The problem here is they will block their attacks with that stupid loot of theirs, making them a little bit more annoying to fight against, because that means... Whoops! What is that fish going on about? I'm not really losing health, which is also good. Come on, okay. I got blown up. Well, I at least got some health back. It is... Couldn't believe it if it weren't real that I actually took them out. But he's a time attack fighter, so... Time wasn't good on that. Damage also wasn't good. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 74 seconds. It felt way longer. 
Yeah, don't get any praise for that. I understand, but I also don't have any powerful things. So I can't do anything here. Let's not to talk to him. Not let it make a lot of difference there. Let's not talk to him ever again if I don't have ink, because that's just that's just bad. Let's see what's down here. Another struggling person. Hello. Ah, what a pickle I'm in. Hmm? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. I'm a craftsman and I work with bamboo, as you can see. But I can't get any work, any to work on right now. No, I shouldn't burden you with my problems, Wolfie. Craftsman, Mr. Oh, Mr. Bamboo. Boy, that must be some big pickle if you're confining in a wolf. Hello there, little sprite. You did listen to an old man ramble. I always gathered bamboo when Sasa Sanctuary in Taka Pass. But I haven't been able to get in there lately. The Sparrow Clan suddenly closed the entrance to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, how I do wish I could craft my bamboo ware. I'm an old man and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's just around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Ah, uh, it ain't the end of the world, Gramps. What if we got ourselves mixed up in now, Amy? Well, we've got ourselves mixed up, mixed up in helping someone. Okay, we're gonna check out the glowing bamboo there in a moment. Um, what do you have in here? Bonk? Oh, a stray bead. Cool. Uh, why do we have a stray bead? Just get bamboo shoot. Oh. Those are those things that are lying around everywhere. Does that mean I can dig them up? Oh yeah, look, there's one right here. Oh, I can dig them up and they're not bad as well. So if I really need some food, I should dig them up. But that's good to know. I didn't know that. So, uh, well then, what is up with you? Wow, that's a major bamboo right here. That Mr. Bamboo really must love his work. Hmm. Maybe with my uh, painting skills I could do something with that, but as is, nope. Let's, let's get ourselves up to 100 there. Tick, 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 tick. Beautiful. Sorry for stealing your bamboo sprouts. Not really, actually. You have more than enough. I don't get my boost of running fast here. Because I'm just slow now. Well, anyway, we've looked at everything down there. But there's not that much left, I gather? Well. Oh, I see. This is a fountain that uses wind power uh, to draw up water. Too bad it's not working now. Look how the ground all dried up. I bet all we need is good strong wind to draw some water up. Do you wanna tell me that wind is the next uh, skill that I get there? Or do I just have to unleash the winter? That might also be. Bonk! Thanks for the ink that I cannot use. Let's see what we have in here. Hello lady. What now? A wolf? Another non-paying customer is all I needed. That guy who came the other day has been a complete disaster. I let him stay because he claims he is a descendant of Nagi. But he's certainly a monster killer. He sleeps in the woods all day. And he makes an awful noise crying out in his sleep all night. Maybe you could try chasing him off for me. Uh, don't worry, I will take him with me. That bear just pooped out some oranges. It's kind of weird. I actually cannot get to those oranges as well. Well, okay. Um, Susan is a plague for you. I totally get that. Doesn't seem to do a lot. If anything. Another one fell somewhere, but I don't see where. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take a look up, lady. Bonk. Some more ink that I can't do anything with. Even more ink. A texture? Well, that's weird. Door, gonna check that one out in a second. Um, cool. Just some food. Eek! You're supposed to knock first! Can't you wait until I'm done? So that's the bathroom. Bonk! 
Eek! I told you wait until I'm done. Now get out of the field before I scream again. You know you have to try at least three times to see if there's more dialogue there. And I told you... Okay. Nope. Only three, two times. Sad, 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 sad. But whatever. We're gonna move on. I think we've done everything in here that we can do. So... Down there is nothing. So up here we go. It's still weird that we... Okay, that's just that place. Oh. Do they react to me? No. As long as I don't have ink, they don't react to me. So I can't do anything with that as well. It's weird running around that long without any ink. Just being a normal wolfie that knows Kung Fu. So there's something up there. And that over there looks like I can't do anything with it until I have my ink back. Because I only see that way to get up there, so... That's the way then, I guess. Up, 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 up. Hello. You look plagued as well. Oh, this is most unfortunate. I have been possessed in a momentary lapse of invigilancy. And I was trying so hard to defend this village. Now it shall be reduced to a horrid cursed zone. I lost my strength. It wanes. All is lost. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now that's new. Floating douchebag. I don't have my ink still. Or do I get it back for that fight? I doubt it. No, I don't have anything. What can I do? I have tools. I have exorcism slips. Prevention slips. Temporarily defects enemies. Slightly damages. Damage everyone around me. Go tuck those out. And then I can just... Punch you around a little bit. There we go. That's probably more than enough. And there we go. I can't get any demon fangs out of you because I don't have ink, which is a real shame. That helped immensely. Cool, oh, that was easy enough. Okay, it's at least better now. Hmm? Have I been freed from the evil curse? You have saved me, but I do not know how. What the heck happened, sweetness? Oh! Are you familiar with my family? The Satomi house? No, I can see now that you are not. Still, you may be of great service to me yet. Will you not listen to what I have to say? Please go on. I don't seem to have anything better to do. You just keep talking, pretty lady. Is soon listening. Is soon seriously, come on. Oh, thank you. I'm Princess Fusa. Priestess of the Gale Shrine. Princess Fusen, Priestess of the Gale Shrine. The Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Kamichi. <laughs> that one correct. Kazegami, the god of wind, is enshrined there. The wind blowing down from there keeps the monsters away. Known as the Divine Mind, it is ven venerated ven as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day. And that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last sh remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Thanks for money. What horrible monster? Will you hear the rest of my story? Yes, please, don't just stop in the middle of it. There is only one explanation for why the divine wind stopped. It is the horrible monster Crimson Helm. Ah, the Crimson something or other. The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Crimson Helmet's uh, control ever since he appeared in Taka Pass 100 years ago. Everything just seems to go out of control after 100 years. My people, the Satomi House, keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest while he was weakened by sickness and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only I could vanquish Crimson Helm and free the Gale Shrine. But 
I'm no match for the evil barrier that now bears entry. There's only one hope now. Only the warriors who serve the Satomi house can right this wrong. Okay, where are they? Our last remaining hope for defeating Crimson Helm is the Satomi Canine Warriors. Okay? The Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the shrine and served the Satomi house for ages. But alas, they are now scattered throughout Nippon. If you could bring them together again, they could break the barrier and retake the shrine. Really? Then why don't you just summon those puppies on back? I have already tried, but I have yet to receive any word from their coming. I sense their presence nearby, but have yet to find them. What if they were attacked and injured, or even worse? I beg you, would you please sniff out their whereabouts? You might find this useful. A flask? You obtained Canaan Tracker. It looks like a flask. I sense five of the Satomi Canaan warriors here in this village. They're a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly to strangers. But they should return to me once they see the Canaan Tracker. The Canaan Tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it along with your strength to find them. Leave it to us, sweetness. We'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see how she thanks us, Amy. <laughs> you soon? Seriously. Hold it together. And don't be such a douche. So there it goes up there. So is that thing looking in the direction I have to go? Because that means I have to go back and not up there. Also, I just want to take a look inside. We can do everything else after. Hey, I actually can go inside. Cool. Well, this looks nice. I don't think I have the Canaan Tracker with me. Does that just mean in here is nothing or can't I take that indoors with me? Sorry if I destroy everything that you like in here. Also, don't forget I have my ink again. So, slice. A lot faster and easier that way. Don't see anything else of interest right here, so eh, whatever. Whatever. Moving onwards. So this probably will just lead forward then. So let's just follow that around a little bit. Chicken? Chicken! Hey, how's it going? Let me feed you. You like seeds, I guess. Yep, there you go. My nose itches. I don't know why. It's frustrating. Chicken butt. Moving forward. Also, we can go up there now. Maybe there is a Kenyan warrior up there. But it's not going that direction. Thank you. A bonk. Oh, I also should not forget about uh, cool. about the one uh, sparrows. Feed them. What was it? Um, why can't I think of it right now? The clover that we found. Also, but. but but yeah, we should not forget about that, because that's some um, um, praise that's definitely useful. Just like that, and slice. Get some money and some food out of that. Oh, that's helpful. Also, we found a new monster. We should probably check that one out as well. Beast Jerry. The Blue Imp. Unique among the brethren, these imps display a pe penchant for flying through the air while strapped to kites. Those insulting... Tossing insults and rude language from above. They float menacingly. Their offensive nature is only matched by their clever wits. Tales about a bound of their crashing due to strong gusts of wind. Oh. So they are not um, smashed down like uh, the flying fish because of me cutting their things. But gusts of wind. That really means that I'm gonna have to get some ability with wind. Also, it's really cool. Can I fall down from here into this area? I don't know. I don't want to at the moment as well. So let's just swoop and I'll you. Hello there, buddy. What is your... Oh, feed. Uh, what were they? Monkeys? What do they eat? Fish? Meat? Meat? Fish? Fish? Fish! 
Do they eat everything? Is the better question. Any who's monkey butt. What's the feeling this time? And thank you for your praise. So I'm gonna take a look out there with you, and then I'm gonna leave this episode because well, I just thought for a moment that I heard Mario. That confused me so much. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, how about you leave a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you next time. Bye!